Many people find themselves in a state of shock after witnessing someone fight death and are unsure of what to do, but not an eight-year-old child from Massachusetts. This account describes how the young boy's quick thinking and ingenuity helped avert a potential disaster. Rapid fire, chaotic events that are traumatic can leave a lasting impression on the people who experience them. When someone has a traumatic occurrence and thinks they are going to die or suffer serious injuries, that is one of those indelible moments. It is unforgettable for someone who observes someone else go through those near-death experiences, even though it can be terrifying for the parties directly involved. Such queries as what do I do? Who should I dial? What would occur if this individual died right now? Destroys their minds, leaving them in a condition of confusion. In this instance, a young youngster saw his mother gasping for air as she choked on a muffin. The young boy had already experienced tragedy a week before, so to watch his mother on the point of death and to contemplate finally losing her was unbearable. The mother and child's anxieties would eventually be replaced with appreciation as the circumstance turned out differently. Here are all of the fascinating stories specifics. On April 16, 2017, Michael O'Brien Jr., who was only eight years old, lost his father, Michael O'Brien Sr. According to a police investigation, the 34-year-old auto mechanic was traveling on a residential street when he lost control of his automobile and was killed in a collision at around 6.26 p.m. For Michael Jr. and his mother Marie Hunt, it was a devastating moment, but 10 days later, the mother and son would experience yet another traumatic event. Hunt prepared oatmeal muffins on April 26, 2017, right before her son left for school. The woman Michael Jr. and Declan, his three-month-old baby brother, sat down for breakfast after she was finished. Hunt nibbled on a muffin before beginning to choke on it. She couldn't breathe because a piece of the food was stuck in her throat. Hunt was frightened at that precise moment, especially for her tiny kid. Hunt prayed to God, please God, don't let me die in front of this youngster. Because she could not afford to leave her children orphans, the mom yearned to live. Her words are, I wanted to live and I didn't want to die. Second, my son has just experienced a devastating shock of losing his father, and now he has to witness his mother struggling to breathe. I was in complete terror. Michael Jr. was as terrified as Hunt was as he entertained those ideas. I felt such fear. My father is already gone. Without my mother, what would I have done? The young boy admitted. Despite his fear Michael Jr. refrained from panicking out of concern that it may make his mother even more afraid. Instead, he sprang into action, employing the skills he had learned as a committed Boy Scout. The young boy explained that they had taught him to contact 911 and maintain composure in the event of danger. As a result Michael Jr. dialed the emergency number and spoke with the dispatcher until help arrived. Fortunately, Hunt was able to remove the muffin from her throat and breathe before the emergency personnel arrived. Still, she was confident that things would have turned out differently if it weren't for her son's quick thinking. Hunt quickly felt completely fine and was prepared to drop off Michael Jr. at school. After I dropped him off, the young child made light of the experience and advised his mother not to eat for the remainder of the year. The young boy's mother was ecstatic when Michael Jr. was hailed as a hero after the incident eventually went viral. The delighted mother admitted, I was afraid, but Mickey said, Mom, I held it together, and I was brave, and I was calm because I didn't want you to panic. Michael Jr. deserves to be honored forever for his fast thinking and selflessness in saving the most important person in his life. If you think this story is interesting, please share it with your friends so Michael Jr. can receive all the recognition he merits.